meteorologist Ashley Gann. The only thing to talk about is the rain moving out, and we're yeah. glad about that. Good news there. You can ditch the umbrellas tomorrow, Good. but you'll need to grab the coats as you okay. head out the door. So some changes are ahead. I want to show your satellite and radar right now. Look at all that wet mess now moving into Georgia. So they get faced with the rain overnight tonight. We just have a few lingering showers, and there will likely be some pockets of heavier drizzle and mist through the early morning hours in some spots. But most of this wet weather... It's out of here by the time you crank up the car tomorrow morning. But behind this cold front is much chillier air, and those temperatures are going to continue dropping overnight tonight. Unlike last night, where those temperatures actually warmed after midnight, those temperatures are going to take a tumble tonight. Here's where we landed today. Now, highs started out at 60. Yeah, you heard that right. Started out at 60. It was warmer this morning than it was this afternoon, and those lows will actually get cooler as we get closer to midnight tonight. So one of those days where we have midnight highs and lows, essentially. So we are looking at a bit of a backwards day. Temperatures still trending above average for this time of year, but tomorrow, trending below average. And look at the temperatures falling now, and the range of temperatures is actually going to create some windy conditions overnight tonight. It will be a bit on the breezy side. You'll likely hear the whipping of the wind outside, and then tomorrow morning it could cause for uh, some chill in the air as you step outside. So grab the coats. 40 currently in Hamilton, lower 40s from Fayette to Jasper, and as you move eastbound, low 50s, Gadsden, Anniston, as well as Talladega. We are looking at mild temperatures to our east, but those are going to be gone as the rain washes out, so does the milder air. Winds right now, check this out. Birmingham, sustained winds out of the north, northwest, at about 20 miles per hour, so it's making those 40s feel more like the mid-30s, and it is going to be, it could be even noisy at, at times with the winds really picking up like that, and then we're looking at around 10 mile per hour wind speeds in Hamilton tonight, 15, near 15 in Coleman. So again, light winds where the rain is, but as that rain moves through and those temperatures really begin to drop, that wind really starts kicking. We're looking at those temperatures settling this evening in the lower 30s. As the sun comes up, though, a gradual climb in temperatures, but only at 36, even at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Some spots will be harder pressed to climb out of the 30s by tomorrow afternoon. I think we all make it, but we'll see a range between the low to mid 40s by afternoon. But notice the rain chance is really diving tonight, really in the next hour or two. That rain's out of here completely, and then by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, not going to see any of the wet stuff. So, as I mentioned before, those temperatures will be dropping overnight tonight, but look what happens to the sky. It clears out, so we'll be seeing sunshine for your Thursday. Yeah, it's going to be a little on the chilly side, but at least we'll see a bright blue sky, and that blue sky really sticks around through the end of the week. Some improvements for your weekend as afternoon highs will be closer to that 50 degree mark, but we will have to muddle through some very cold mornings, and then I have my eyes focused on Tuesday. We could see a bit of a wintry mix by early next week, but still lots to iron out as we move through the next six days. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast. Jack? Hard to complain.